Hello YouTube, it's Michael here, doing my uh, third video all together for my uh, rear Xbox 360 series. Um, this will be the second update video. I have actually thought I'd done more videos, but uh, looking at my history, it doesn't look like I did. But um, anyway, um, I'll get right into it. The first game I'm going to show off is called Beautiful Katamari. And it's, uh, it's strange. I bought uh, Katamari Forever on the PS3 and this game all at the same time. Um, I actually, I've been on the fence about this game for a little while, just because it's, it's retained its uh, $20 price tag for a long time at GameStop. And um, this is the uh, 360 Katamari exclusive, but I mentioned in my PS3 update video, if once you, when you play one Katamari game, you, you pretty much play them all. Um, and it, it's a little strange. I, I was I was looking for this game because I haven't seen it in a long time. And what I mean by a long time, it was about six months. I haven't really seen a complete copy of this game. Uh, and I, I've wanted to add it to a collection, but it was just twenty dollars, and um, I got it on a buy two get one free. So that that's why I picked it up. I picked up uh, this game, the Katamari Forever, and another twenty dollar game. But um, this game is getting harder and harder to find, in my opinion. Um, People are pretty loyal to Katamari. They don't normally train them in and stuff. So, but if I, I wouldn't really recommend putting twenty dollars into this. If you can pick this up between five and ten bucks, I definitely, definitely would not pick it up. And that's a good price for for a game of this rarity. I know I uh, I've showed this game before, but I did pick up another copy of this, and it's uh, Bullet Witch. Uh, Bullet Witch is five dollars at GameStop if you can find it. This is only the second copy I've seen complete, and it's the second copy that I bought. Not a, not a great game. Really, really bad graphics. Uh, the gameplay is kind of uh, repetitious. And it, and the developers added unnecessary bo uh, boundaries and things to do in order to uh, lengthen the game. But it is a rare game. And uh, this normally goes between $15 and $20. So a $5 price tag, if you can find it, is a, um, is a good deal. And, and my other copy was kind of kind of beat up. And this one was complete and uh, in near mint condition. So I was really happy to put another $5 into that if it was just for a better looking copy. This next game I was really happy to find and it's called uh, Call the Sep Saga. This, um, all, all three games that I've shown so far have been uh, 360 exclusives. But uh, if you know anything about Call the Sep, it's a uh, card playing uh, RPG type kind of I don't know, it's got some Magic the Gathering type qualities to it, and it's got some short animations uh, for it. But uh, this one's complete and in a uh, really good condition. So, yeah, my 360 just turned on. And, anyway, that uh, lost my train of thought. Uh, Cold Slip Saga is actually pretty, pretty damn rare. Uh, this was $20. So it's, it isn't a cheaper 360 game by any means, but um, it's retained its $20 value for a while. I'm not going to say it's any more than that, but um, I'm just happy to put it in a collection. And um, the trophies are, are trophies. The achievements are extremely hard to get on this. So if you're in achievement hunting, this is not the game to get. And um, it's it, you either kind of like it or you hate this game. Uh, I, I, I've played it, and um, it's, it's actually pretty hard. And I didn't fall in love with it, but I'm just happy to put it back in my collection. So that's called a Sip Saga. And the next game I'm going to show is called Kingo Legend of the Nine. Now, I do believe a uh, Kingo game came out for the PlayStation 2, um, like Master of Bushido, something like that. I have not played this. This one's also a 360 exclusive. Um, if you know anything about uh, Bushido, um, Bushido games are like you can you can they're usually fighting games and you can usually die uh, in one blow if the blow hits the right spot or you have the right power and stuff like that. So I think it's in the same same vein. Uh, this was a two dollar game, so that's part of the reason I picked it up. And I actually don't see this game at all. I don't think it sold very well. Uh, Majesco was the publisher. It's not a huge publisher or anything, so I know they didn't produce a ton of copies at all. So, I definitely say this game is rare. Um, I'm not going to say this game is going to uh, pop up in value hugely or anything like that, but I definitely think it's a worthwhile pickup for any collector for $2. So, keep an eye out for that one. 
Next game I'm going to show, actually, I uh, picked up in Wisconsin uh, when I was up in Wisconsin. I went up north uh, to Wisconsin, and they only had one game stop in a town that was like 50 miles away. That's how uh, rural it was. But I ended up finding this, which is which is pretty cool. Um, it's a steelbook version of Metal Gear Rising, and it's actually got the soundtrack and stuff with it, and it's complete and near mint. And it was five dollars. That's why I picked it up. So I was pretty happy to find that. I actually I just picked up the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance for the PS3 uh, like a week before I left for Wisconsin, uh, and I got the soundtrack and stuff. Really happy about it. And then I found this one. So I guess the um, the soundtrack versions probably aren't that aren't that rare but they're probably more rare than the regular versions that's for sure and i like the steelbook actually um i like the art and i like i don't know i'm I, i'm not huge in the steelbooks but it's definitely a bonus when you can find them and um i know they made a collector's edition for this game i'm not sure if this was part of the collector's edition or something but um or it's probably a pre-order bonus but this game with the steelbook and soundtrack and stuff i looked it up and it usually goes for around 20 dollars 15 20 dollars so if you can find it for about five dollars i think it's a it's a good pickup i did buy another copy of this game as well this is another double another 360 exclusive it's uh from software uh game called ninja blade and it's got qtes and it's around the qtes uh you know maybe shy away from this but it's actually a pretty good game and uh i I typically like most of what From Software does, even their their non Souls games. So, and uh, th this game actually looked pretty cool. This this was a five dollar game. It's worth every bit of five dollars in my opinion. And I think it's it's pretty hard to find. I I do find them every now and then. So I'll say this is on the lower end of the rarity side, but um, definitely a worthwhile pickup for a collector. This next game I was really interested in. It looked it looked cool because I. Uh, I like, it's called Cubed with a Q, and it's got Luminous Live, it's got a F4, Every Extend Extreme Extra, or E4, sorry, and Res HD, I bought it for Res HD actually, and um, Res came out on the Dreamcast on the PlayStation 2, and this has an HD version of Res, which I think is pretty cool, and I think this was, this was like either $2 or $5, um, I buy so many games that so sometimes I, I don't memorize the prices for everything but i know it was a cheap game and i was like you know what it just for the fact it has uh res hd on it i'll i'll, I'll put five dollars into it if it was five dollars but it's uh published by atari and i actually i I've, I've never seen the game um it seems like one of those games that uh was probably like twenty dollars new and it probably released uh, a year or two ago probably didn't sell very well so i actually think this is kind of rare uh, i don't think it's gonna come on let's focus i don't think it's gonna increase in value a lot but um just the fact it's got res hd on it is the why I, why i picked it up so if you're into if you don't know anything about res res is a uh, rhythm type shooting game um so it's it's a really strange game you should look at gameplay if you don't know what it is this next game i was also extremely happy to find well actually i didn't find it i actually ordered this one on ebay i cheated uh this one was uh 360 exclusive as well it's called spectral force 3 uh published by atlas uh this one of the few atlas games that are actually are for the 360 and i was really happy to to find it uh complete in the condition i did for the price that I did, I bought for twelve dollars of free shipping, which I think is about the. I think it's a good price for this actually, and um, it's a strategy RPG. And I've heard mixed reviews about it, but I enjoy strategy RPGs. So um, if you're not into the strategy RPG genre, then uh, you won't like this. This isn't your typical turn-based or action RPG, but um, definitely, definitely rare. Uh, I don't see it that often. Anything Atlas publishes, uh, they they always do low print runs. Always. I don't care what game it is. The only thing they might not do a low print one on, on is uh, the Persona games. Uh, now that they're so popular. But anyway, uh, Special Force Three definitely add it to uh, a collection as collectors. Um, as most collectors are, they usually are into um, Japanese RPGs and stuff and this is one one of the really few Japanese RPGs uh, true Japanese RPGs there is for the 360 so uh, keep an eye out for this one and, and it's also a 360 exclusive which is pretty cool so this next game I picked up because I uh, I never played it and it's a Rockstar game and it was a dollar 
and I, I it's funny I saw saw a little gameplay of it like a couple months ago and I'm like you know what I'm gonna look for table tennis next time I'm at a game store and it took me it took me two months to, to find this game it was uh, I think I think I said this but it was a dollar it was complete it isn't in an original 360 case but not a big deal for a dollar but um this is one of the first 360 games to come out. Um, I thought it was a 360 exclusive. I definitely know they didn't come out on PS, PS3 for it. Um, and I, I thought games that were PC and 360 um, dual releases were still considered 360 exclusives. At least they are in my eyes. Um, you know, just because it's on PC, if, I just I talk about consoles just because most of the um, physical game collectors and stuff are... Um, our console collectors. But anyway, uh, that's table tennis. It's a dollar. I don't think it's particularly rare. It's it's definitely hard to find only because it's an early release. So uh, copies get damaged, copies get destroyed, people lose their cases and stuff. So finding a complete copy in good condition, it's harder to find, but I definitely won't say that it's uh, rarer because uh, when, the, when the 360 first came out, people were clamoring for uh, games. And this was one of the games that, that came out for it. So, and uh, everybody that I knew that bought a 360 um, in the first uh, like two months played or owned table tennis. So I don't know how rare it is. All right, next game I'm showing is called Tenchu Z, another From Software game. Uh, I was happy to find it. It was a $10 game, and I wasn't sure about it. It was a 360 exclusive and From Software. Those were the two things that sold me on this game. So that's why I picked it up. Tenchu games, again, are, are pretty pretty hard games. Now, the GameStop employee told me that he actually had a lot of fun playing this game. So... I don't know, and he see, and I, I sit and bullshit with him quite a bit about uh, video games, so he seems to know video games pretty well, so that was another reason I picked it up, but $10 is a little bit more than I, I want to put into some games, uh, but like I said, from software, 360 exclusive, I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll hunker down and put the $10 into this game, so, and um, I'm going to say this game is, uh, is kind of rare. Because uh, I don't see it that often. This was the first time I saw it. And actually, um, if you do see it, it's probably because people aren't aren't like jumping up for joy when they see Tenshu. So it's not like flying off the shelves. Because I, I saw this this particular copy at uh, my local GameStop for about four months now. And I've always picked it up and looked at it, picked it up and looked at it. Finally, I caved in and bought it. But, um, you know, just because you see a copy of a game doesn't mean it's it's common it just means that people aren't buying it possibly so i remember when um ps2 was facing out i always saw a copy of uh dot hat uh quarantine um i um, i saw other games too on almost every GameStop. and uh dot hat quarantine is one of the rarest games for ps2 and i'm going to say i saw one towards the end of its life cycle in almost every GameStop i went to so and that's probably because they were offering a pretty good trade value in for it uh, this next game, I uh, actually I didn't buy it. Um, I asked about it because it actually didn't have a price sticker or anything on it. I was like, "How much is this?" And the guy told me it was like fucking thirty-five dollars or something. I'm like, "Really? Call of Duty thirty-five dollars for three old Call of Duty Call of Duty, Call of Duty games?" And um, they didn't have it actually. But um, as you can see, it's got a three-disc holder in it, so it's got all three games on disc, uh, which is kind of cool. And uh, when I actually looked it up, there aren't many copies online. So I actually think it's kind of rare. So um, I'm not sure if I, I'd want to buy it for that price. Because that's actually, it goes between like $30 and $50 when I looked it up. I know it probably didn't sell very well. Uh, just because, I don't know, people really weren't into old Call of Duty games. Even though it's more popular now. It's hard for me to say because Call of Duty is a popular franchise. But I'm going to say when Call of Duty uh, 2 and 3 came out. It wasn't the powerhouse that it is now. And then it's got Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, and Call of Duty World at War. Now, a little fact, Call of Duty 2 only came out on PC in the 360, uh, as far as I know. it I, in, in the PS2, probably. But, um, I don't know. I think, it's, uh, I think this is actually a pretty rare case, or rare game, whatever you want to call it. So, and uh, you normally when they don't have games, like... 
the, this this can be for anybody. If they don't have the game for the case you're taking up, and the case is complete or in good condition or something, ask them if you can have it. That, like I'm going to say, 99 times out of 100, they'll say, yeah, we we can't do anything with the case without the game anyway. So it'll score you a free case. And just a little little collector tip. And this last game I'm going to show, I picked this up in Wisconsin as well, and that's the Mafia 2 Collector's Edition. I was I saw this and the uh, Metal Gear Rising on the top of a uh, recently traded in video game stack. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to ask about those games. And uh, I asked about it. Now, this was actually a more pricey uh, 360 game. It was $15. But when I looked it up, the, uh, the average price... I'm sorry. The average price that this game was actually selling for was like $30 to $35. So I was like, you know what? For $15 and it's a collector's edition, I'll pick it up. I'm not into like mafia games most of the time. Um, I've never played a actual mafia 2K game, but um, I gave it a shot for $15. And if um, if anyone's played this game and knows if it's any good, you know, let me know. Let let somebody know in the comments. But uh, it's got the steel book. It's got the uh, the score. It's got the art book, and it's got the uh, overlapping box. So it was complete. And um, I'll pick up with any collection edition I can find for like 20 bucks or underused though. And um, actually, I didn't show this game, but I'll just show it just because um, now my wife broke down and uh, bought this. She's a huge Tomb Raider fan and we don't own an Xbox One yet. Um, I'd like to get one now that the uh, library is bigger and the backwards compatibility and stuff like that. But um, we broke down and bought a copy of The Rise of Tomb Raider. $10 cheaper. The port of this is really, really good. Um, graphically, it's not going to be as good as the Xbox One, but I'm going to tell you, it's probably in the top tier Xbox 360 graphically um, for a game. And uh, it's it's a really good game. And it's a shame that um, it's a stupid times exclusive for Xbox One. It's releasing for PC later this month, and I'm not sure when PS4 is going to get it, but I'm guessing it's going to be next holiday season. And that's really a shame because this was a, um, this was a good game. If you like the first one, this one um, adds on to all that. And uh, this was actually a $10, $10 cheaper than the Xbox One version. And I'm going to tell you when the PS4 version comes out, we'll probably buy that one too um, because I think it'll have some extra content on it. But um, really good game. I just wanted to point that one out. And uh, I'm actually not sure how well this one's, this one's going to, uh, to sell. It's, it's a late release Xbox 360 game. It's a good game. Most people are moving on to the Xbox One. Um, and it's a good port. It's, it's got a lot going for it as far as rarity goes. But um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how rare this is going to be. Now this is kind of strange. I just noticed it's... Is it actually published by Crystal Dynamics? Because I thought Crystal Dynamics was owned by... Um, uh, I was about to call it Squaresoft, but Square Enix, um, and Square Enix is usually the publisher, so that's kind of a kind of a weird thing for it. I do know that the the PS4 version will be uh, published by Squaresoft, from what I've seen from the box art. But anyway, um, that's my update video uh, for my 360 stuff. And if you have any other suggestions for it, because again, I'm running kind of slim on 360 exclusives or 360 um, games that are rare. I'm still looking for a couple, just like I am for every system. I, I don't think I'll ever be done collecting for any system. Um, there's still a couple, like so I'm looking for, like Crash of the Titans, the other Crash game too for uh, 360. Um, there are a handful. I can't remember all of them now, but... Um, Definitely let me know if, if you want, and um, thanks for watching, and uh, join me next time, and I'll be doing uh, better videos hopefully here soon, so thanks, thanks guys, see you later.